DE Rebecca recently posted onto the forums explaining that there will be an upcoming weapon balance alongside the Octavia update. The balancing will bring nerfs and buffs to a total of 14 weapons. So let's get into what weapons will be receiving buffs and then we'll go into what weapons will be nerfed. The Mitre will become a Mastery Rank 6 weapon with an increase to its dismemberment chance and projectile speed. It will also receive a 5% critical chance on a quick shot, a 10% critical chance increase on a charged shot, and its charge time halve. The Harpark, the secondary fire, aka the Harpoon, will get an increase in range from the current 15 meters to 40, an increase in flight speed and the charge time removed so that firing the Harpoon is instant. The weapon will also get its recoil reduced and its critical chance increased to 20%. The Hind. It will only get one change and that's to its mechanics. The weapon will now have a secondary single shot semi-automatic fire mode that will increase damage in both the critical and status chance of the weapon. The Panthera will become a Mastery Rank 7 weapon. It'll receive a change to its firing mechanic that'll make the weapon become fully automatic with an increase to its fire rate. It'll also receive a critical hit chance of 10%, a status chance of 20%, and a critical multiplier of 2 on its primary fire. On its secondary fire, it'll receive a status chance of 35%, a critical chance of 25%. The weapon's ammo requirement will also be reduced to 2 the Parasist will become a Mastery Rank 5 weapon, where it'll receive a 50m alt fire tether and updated effects on its primary fire projectiles. It'll also receive stat changes making the status chance of the primary and secondary fire 30%, the critical chance on the primary fire 10%, and the primary fire's damage increased by 5. Just like the Hind, the Mutilus Quanta will only receive a mechanic change, where its secondary fire mode will stack similar to the Simulor. Doing so can make a large infested orb that you can shoot through for additional advantages. Personally, from what I've read, I don't quite understand what will be changed, as the weapon already does this. On to the Buzzlock. It'll become a Mastery Rank 9 weapon, where its ammo requirement for the homing feature will be reduced to 2. The homing beacon will only stick to NPC and characters, and the flight speed of the beacon will be increased. The weapon will also have its damage increased to 60 from 45, the clip reduced to 50, critical chance changed to 15, critical damage to 2.5, and its physical damage distribution adjusted to 50% impact, 40% puncture, and 10% slash. The Galaxian gets its cold damage increased to 333 from 250, an increase to accuracy, its ammo consumption reduced, and its range reduced from 30 meters to 24. The Ogress will become a Mastery Rank 8 weapon, having its flight speed increased, charge time reduced, and status chance increased to 35%. The AoE damage of the weapon will also be increased to 600, the range of the AoE increased to 6 meters, and the direct damage of the projectile decreased to 100. The last buff is for the Attica. The Attica will get its recoil reduced, fire rate and flight speed increased, the critical chance will also be increased to 25%, the critical multiplier increased to 2, and the ammo capacity increased to 20. On to nerfs. They've decided to nerf three main meta weapons, which they feel disrupts the cooperative setting and pace of gameplay for most groups in Warframe. To start it off, we have a massive nerf to the Tonkor. Its critical chance has been reduced to 25%, its grenades will bounce lower and explode sooner, and the lifespan of a grenade will be dropped from 5 seconds to 3, making grenades explode quicker. The weapon will also deal self-damage, just like other launches in the game. The grenade's trajectory line will now appear when holding the fire button, and the grenades will fire upon release. Onto the second last nerf, which goes to the whole Simulor family. First off, we have the standard Simulor. The status chance will be increased to 30%, and the explosion damage increased from 50 to 200 when detonated. The weapon's AoE explosion range based on the stack will be increased from 0.5 to 2.8 meters to 1 to 6 meters. There's also a change to how stacking orbs will work. If an orb combines, the damage range will decrease to 1 to 3 meters from 3 to 8, and in the same instance, the damage will be decreased from 150 to 250 damage down to 20 to 40. Finally, the amount of orbs required to make a full stack will be decreased from 5 to 3. 
When it comes to the Sinoid version of the Simulor, the status chance will be increased to 35% and the explosion damage increased from 50 to 250 when detonated. The weapon's AoE explosion range based on the stack will be increased from 0.5 to 2.8 meters to 1 to 8 meters. Just like the standard one, the change to how stacking orbs will work still applies. If an orb combines, the damage range will decrease to 1 to 3 meters from 3 to 8, and in the same instance, the damage will be decreased from 150 to 250 damage down to 20 to 50. And the final nerf goes to the Telos Boltes. The weapon will receive a mechanic change, where the slide attack will create a vortex that staggers and draws enemies towards you, instead of the slash wave we had before. The following slide attack after the initial vortex slide will create a radial blast which will ragdoll enemies away from you. Both of them will be on cooldown so that you don't abuse the mechanics. The upside to the nerf is that players who own the weapons will receive one former for each of the nerfed weapons that they own, and a single 3 day affinity booster so that you can reconfigure the weapon as you see fit. They have also stated that any Riven mods for each of the changed weapons will receive small stat changes. Now all of these changes are subject to change, so when the Octavia patch finally comes around, make sure to read the patch notes so that you're up to date if anything has changed. What do you think about these changes? Will they affect how you play? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.